first question I wanted to ask you uh, was about your experiences in World War II. Did you have any second thoughts or hesitation about going into the Air Force in World War II? Well, I, in the beginning, uh, by that I mean 1939, uh, I was just 19. Uh, but I, uh, I studied and thought a lot about it. And then I was a Mormon missionary for two years. Uh, I was a Mormon missionary at the time of Pearl Harbor in the eastern part of the United States. And uh, I had uh, strong uh, feelings against war then. And uh, I actually considered in the beginning being a conscientious objector. Uh, but of course, that all changed. And when I saw Hitler uh, clearly, what kind of a confrontation he presented to civilization, I changed my views. and. And uh, I enlisted in the Air Force, and I was an enlisted uh, gunner, a sergeant in bombers in Italy. And uh, I'm wondering then if you had been presented with uh, the situation in Vietnam, a different war, but you were were younger, what you might have done. Have you thought about that? Well, I uh, my experience. Uh, prior to World War II, I guess maybe made me a little more sensitive with my children uh, having, you know, even leaned towards the pacifist approach. After all, uh, here we were 20 years after World War I and the same uh, nations back at it again. And it, it just seemed uh, counterproductive to some people. And I was in that category that was bothered by, well, let the Europeans have another war. Why should we get involved in it, you see? And I guess that conditioned me to be more, more understanding. I hope it did. Mm -hmm. But have you thought about if you had been young during Vietnam? Uh, you, said you talked about how Hitler was such an obvious menace. During Vietnam, maybe the menace was different. Well, I can, I can understand, uh, or I could understand, the war protest movement. Uh, because I had ambivalent feelings myself. In fact, I think there were three or four of us in President Johnson's cabinet that probably would have been quali uh, or qualified or designated at that time as doves, the hawks and doves. Uh, I think we essentially uh, had some dubious feelings about the war. Did you ever feel the uh, need to uh, to resign from cabinet or to take any action on your feelings? No, my feelings didn't run that strong. Uh, I I had uh, I had doubts about the war, but you see the way our government operated under Kennedy and Johnson, uh, there was in effect uh, the war cabinet and the rest of the cabinet and. We were never brought in on decisions, and that made it easier, particularly when you had a job as I did that I thought was wonderful and the best job in the country, and I was doing things uh, that were uh, positive and I thought good for the country, so why should I break off since uh, I was not involved in the war decision-making? 